What's going on guys, it's your boy EZOJ Tremont here, uh, you can call me Mac, and today I have a new video on how to extract your KV from your NAND dump. Uh, let's say you just OG uh your first console, and you want that KV, so you can resell it, or just for educational purposes. So, let's just get uh, started, so here, what you guys are going to need is a folder. Um, I have a folder called JRunner. Now, if you guys just did your console here, on my name dumps, um, I'm at the, before you guys do this, disable AVG, um, cause it will be a total pain, or whatever antivirus you actually have. So, um, the first thing what you guys are gonna need to do here, is I did this console on the 8th, so 10-8, I mean 11.8 so here it is um I did not get the extracts so some people will have this um it might be in the output folder if it is that's cool um but it isn't so what you guys are what you guys are gonna need to do is you guys are gonna need a program called um 360 flash tool excuse me and you guys are gonna need to open this up and open up JRunner, or if you guys have your CPU key on hand, use that. So, um, basically what we're just trying to do is we're trying to extract um, the KV out of the NAND with X360 Flash Tool, and this is just for um, finding the CPU key, which that's how I locate things. I um, I make a folder, C11.8, and it's going to give me the CPU key, so I'm just going to copy it, and that's all I'm really going to need it for, and I'm just going to click this, CPU key, I'm just going to hit OK, um, and then I'm just going to find the um, thing, it's going to say output, don't worry about that, just no, here that's not it. Um, sure. There we go. So here, forty-six. There it is. Um, you guys are gonna be able. So here, this is all your console's information. Um, DVD key, OSIG, region, serial, console ID. From our day, as you guys can see, it is a Corona. Um, it is not a Trinity. And then, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want with this info. It's really not my problem. So, what you guys can then do is hit extract. Now, if you guys do not do this correct, the key vault will say encrypted, meaning that it is encrypted, so you are not able to get the key vault itself you're getting a encrypted version until you guys have that CPU key you can take the key vault off of it so um, that's about it hit ok and then I'm just gonna save this to um, uh, I'm just gonna make a new folder some of all the KVs never actually did this before I'm just gonna hit OK, and then if I look, I should see my KV folder. I can't find anything today. I'm way too tired. Hold on. Okay, I don't know if it created a folder or not. It should have. Um. Not the way how I plan this. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to start again since I think it lost it. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, so we're just gonna hit extract, key vault, okay. Um, and I'm just gonna hit next stop, okay. 
Now we're just going to look for it. And here it is. And here's the vault. And then you guys will then get a decrypted and an encrypted. What you guys are going to want to do is rename it to just KV. And, edit, and um, you guys can put this on your console. Um, turn ban it. Or let's say I just want to sell it. Um, I can just go hit somebody up. Say, hey, want to buy a KV? Give them this. And that's how to extract the um, KV off of the uh, console. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, peace out.